Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> how how is your how is your week? How are you doing? Uh let me see. I got a lot of these red dots in my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it that bad? <laughs> no. I don't know, just sort of coming to terms with showing my work to the world and, and now having to sort of be responsible and keep up and sort of leave the inventor's cave and, and turn into the businessman. Yeah. Oh my God. I can imagine this must be. I mean, I mean, the great thing is we already introduced us a little bit, at least in the last call, but I would love to know how this started. I mean, how, how, like, also, where did you get? Well, this I sort of brought this the download, you know. <laughs> well, can you see that? I can see that. Yes. Because okay. essentially, you know, what I would like to say is, I mean, if you're really interested, uh, these are tools for people like yourself and organizations like yourself to sort of blend with your other tools. I mean, everyone's got tools, right? And what I've been sort of proposing, the new paradigm toolkit. Yeah. It's card sets game boards maps processes and software mm. that help individuals organizations teams and communities go from the old paradigm to the new paradigm and focus on learning creativity communication and healing yeah so it's, it's very oh, broad yeah. you know it, it can fit into probably everything that you're doing but this one is sort of the main reference point and it's called the time translator. So it's, it's, like, a, it's like a new clock. Mm. And the movement yeah. is from sort of linear time to cyclical time. So this would kind of like be the center of your command room or your, 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 your main operating room. And then you have your outside <clears throat> is your lifetime. And that's your, and you can bring in astrology. And I know some people in business, they don't want to bring astrologers in, but some, yeah, I know. another said, word. <laughs> Someone said that, you know, billionaires use astrologers, astrologers, not millionaires. So to me, astrology yeah. is, the, is the larger timing. And, yeah, yeah. and it's just one piece of the puzzle, but it works very well, you know, if you use it well. So then that's that. And those are the larger cycles. And then the next one in, in the blue, that's a year. You've got one whole year for the blue. And then you've got here, this is your lunar cycle. Mm. This whole cycle fits into one of the 13 moons in a year. And then this is a day, and one of these cycles fits into just one of these squares here. Okay. And then there's the shift point. And this is kind of like the, the, the connection to the time translator is it, it can connect into the Mayan calendar. And a lot, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but a lot of people aren't. But I've, has, I've read a little bit so, um, about it actually, I think a few months ago. So seeing like all these signs um so i i, I but I, yeah i hadn't had the time to go so, deeper because it's highly complex right so it's a lot more um as far as i understand much more axioms and paradigms which interact in and in, in constellations to determine um in an outcome or the event and yeah well it's, it's a whole new myth, like it's a 13 by 20 mathematics uh yeah. it has multiple mathematics in it but there's basically 20 um 20 yeah. parts and if you look at um, it's incredible if you look at this is a tetrahedron your basic shape yes but then if you see a tetrahedron here that's inside another tetrahedron it's kind of like here's one here's four and here's 16. Yeah. And so when when the tetrahedron becomes a whole again, you're using 20 pieces. And so if you look at 20 amino acids and you look at James Miller, I don't know if you've looked at James Miller's living system theory ever. Um, I actually did a bit, yes. So I'm so so I'm actually a yeah, I'm a mathematician. So I did study mathematics and also system theory. So okay, so you have studied James Miller's 20 critical subsystems. I, I didn't I didn't study the full but in my in my studies I came across that because by, I was studying so I, I studied mathematics like a bachelor and master like in pure mathematics and then I have my my PhD is in 
corporate strategy, but from a social systems and um, systems thinking perspective from qualitative view. So like Luma and Habermas, but Miller was also part of that. Okay. Because he, he's, you know, for my, my own research, I was looking for universal models. And from a biological, I mean, what he found was 20 critical subsystems from the cell to the organ, to yeah. the organism and all the way up. Yeah. Gene, you know, to me, it's basically what <laughs> it's going to be the basis of AI. Yes. Because, and yes. You know, I don't yes. know how far it'll go with that, but, but if you're looking at 20, you know, from a mathematical point of view, from what I understand is 20 is, is, is the, tetrahedron the base unit going back into a base unit and so when you get 20 human beings each of them and, and the minds were sort of bringing in our galactic energetic signatures here so i'm a yellow warrior and there's a way for you online i think it's mind calendar decoded you can put in your birth date you can find out what you are i think yeah but, i think i did it once okay a long time ago or something yeah so so anyway this so here it breaks down into seasons because seasons are kind of like the prime reference point for how things change whether it's from mm -hmm. winter to fall to, it's very different and then in here here's hours and minutes present moments and timelessness so you've got your fast here you got your your longer term cycles so basically once this is a big computer and you can press these things you can bring up the other maps on the walls and sort of have a big timing mechanism. Because like if, if you look at that, wow. away from yes, wow. Cycle four. And then there's like this personal space, one-on-one -on -one space, community space, group space pattern. Yeah. So if we want to bring the whole community together. We need some methodology to synchronize our timing. Yes. And so what this is, is a way to sort of like, here's your personal space week. So everyone kind of, I think, needs a week alone away from everybody. <laughs> That's where everyone goes crazy to do your own work, your own research, whatever you want to do. Like, I, I just don't think the structure of our seven day work week always being the same no. actually works in conjunction with the moon cycles. You know, it just, it doesn't fit. I get a lot done with a lot of people in a short amount of time but I need my time alone. And if I yeah. have to kind of fit something else's, so this is just a way of creating a new timing perspective that all these tools, you know, I would make available to you or, you know, the world in a sense. And then this becomes a reference point for designing the new paradigm together. Yes. No, I absolutely, I mean, I see it. I totally see it. And I, I, I know elsewhere I see it. And it's um it's it's um I, I totally get what you what you're doing and it's uh, I love it it's um it is not easy for the corporate world to grasp but there will be probably organizations or ways to translate it in a way to those ones which are already a little bit far ahead right a bit more you know if and if you're able to translate this into a way um, yeah I mean there's so many ways. People are really wakening up, right? So to to be a bit more open, at least, and so and then so basically, this is what we, what leaders on purpose, are trying to do, like Chris and I. And this is why we also don't communicate a lot about what's going on and all this stuff because we are in these systems inside right now where we try, like, cap, you know, like in all kinds of <laughs> pushing a quite heavy structural shift along, and. Um, and then it's always about almost literally for every single person it's a different approach right and then you have the group and then you have the team and then you have the teams which work for them and then you have their allies and then there i mean other organizations out there which just in the noise of things talk about stuff but don't really right so it's like it's a whole sometimes we say it's a swimming with the sharks but it's good it's fun well, um, I, I think, I mean, isn't it a big difference? Like, I mean, your, <clears throat> I imagine your diagnostics are very important for figuring out where they're at. And if you're, yeah. <clears throat> let's say, organizations in the old paradigm, and they, like, I think from your position yeah. too, like, yeah. are you someone who's going to try to fix organizations in the old paradigm? Or are no, you no, an new. organization that's transitioning new systems into the new? Exactly. Exactly. So for us, it's 
very this is very important but however of course we're very careful how we articulate this right because i mean um you can't articulate because right now we have really huge huge institutional support sometimes from insiders in organizations right which see and feel right and then so it's coming all together but then of course since you have still this old three-dimensional paradigm going on right you need sometimes to translate it it's like giving like little crumbs of steps into this and making it safe right this kind of um so but what we stand for is transition to new so right now um hopefully if everything goes right in two weeks there will be some big announcement will be the first time that actually leaders and purpose is really coming that publicly open after five years or so um in a way really more more in terms of much more closer to the real narrative of what we're doing on the underlying structure um, to make basically the world ready and corporations ready to very strategically rethink their strategies but really the corporate strategy and this is now where this is more interesting right it's not to be honest on the partnership level or whatever if you really want and and i mean you know it yourself i don't you know but if you really want to have a structural deconstruction of organizations you need to go right now at least at those ones which already exist and we can't not work with them because people are suffering right now we can't wait until all the other organizations are big enough to consume right so we need to to find like a, a group of allies for this transition so that yeah i mean as you know so so we, we can manage and mitigate some some global risks but um basically what um but the highest vision and this is why also it was the first time we actually articulated that in this community technology session to actually outside because right now it's like all similar as you when you say i'm only now coming out sometimes these ideas are big too big maybe for the for others to hear right so without that or oh, you're absolutely crazy because we don't have time for this these kind of questions right so i don't will not spend my energy on that <laughs> so it's like you know it's okay so and um so if you're able and this is what we're building the technology and this is maybe down the road where it might be interesting we should definitely stay in conversation and see how you you know trans begin to translate these tools you know all these kind of things which have are able to plug into stuff right step by step our underlying so the ultimate goal of our technology that we are building is if we are able now on board from the biggest corporate and cross-sectoral actors their core strategies into a process which is basically the transition process to the new system right where we can track the transition to the new system so this is of course then where things you know this might is more interesting but maybe they are not yet ready even to hear this in a way they don't need really you know, maybe they're just some translations, you know, these two, but the ultimate goal, the ultimate organism basically, or the ultimate technology is measuring, of course, the synchronicity of the strategy in the transition. And then of course the reporting mechanisms which organizations can grasp or not grasp, you know, always depending on how far they are along. So I can, for instance, imagine like all kinds of tech companies like are much further along, right? In understanding, like, okay, this is you know, so they are like some other giants you just need to go step by step with them it always depends on the people as well right so how far yeah is, how big is there are you what what kind of like size of organizations do you work with biggest ones like the big ones the the, the, the top 500 kind of things yes because like and have you have you ever thought You know, like there's a there's a big difference, right, between working with them versus taking independent contractors that are all new paradigm people and building structures for them. That's a big difference, right? And then there's a big difference with working with smaller uh, organizations and putting them together in larger systems. So they, you know, I, I just, I just, I. You know, I, I kind of, 
I just think that the amount of change is going to happen, obviously that has, but over the, let's say the next five years, and except, especially right now, right, where the whole world is kind of stopped. And the, I don't think a lot of old paradigm institutions are going to be around. I don't and, think so, too. And to, you know, you might be sort of uh, <laughs> helping them to see their grave, or you, you may be yeah. helping them to go, you know, this is where you got to go. Exactly. And, and if you don't go there, you're going to die kind of thing, right? Exactly. It's exactly but, that. Because yeah. I cause I think that, you know, at least for myself, I, I'm not that interested in going into a large institution and bringing the stuff so, you know, I could I could disappear for two years and work with one institution that basically doesn't do much. Maybe, the, you know, their communication improves and this happens. But, you know, working with these large dinosaurs that, it can be very difficult to sort of lead them somewhere where they don't want to go, even though they have to go there. And I just wonder about your own specific focus point in terms of your own desire, your gift, where the future is going, and how you guys are structuring yourselves. I mean, that, that to me, I'm sure you're always talking about it, but just Yeah, curious. I think that um, it is, um, and this comes to this, I mean, for instance, for me personally, I just have this in me that I know that we need to accelerate. So for me, it's a planetary strategy transition, a planetary um, transition strategy that we're working on. And we work with more than these guys. We work with, you know, futurists. You know, we have we are in a much more broader community ingrained. It's just like what we translate to whom and what to buy into the process. Um, I need, and this is it's just, I need to accelerate the transition because otherwise I just know, and, and probably a few also just know what you're doing, right? So I just, yeah, there's no other way. So, so basically, um, and, and at the same time, also acknowledging, you know, I, I would, I, I see that we have the strength of Chris and we have the buy-in and we have been building this up for years, kind of. We have a lot of allies and a lot of, you know, around in these institutions to, and, and, and the focal point where we target is really a point where we are able to deconstruct and reconstruct. So it's, it's, it's not, yeah, so we only really focus on the biggest leverage points in these institutions. If it works, then they're part of this. If not, Right. So to your point, because the problem is that you have these kind of organizations and unfortunately they are touching today billions of people's lives and people are suffering. Mm. So um, it's so basically it's both it's a part of we go deep into the structural change, but also. Taking basically this fight on or this complexity on with these old structures, right? to enable to translate and accelerate and scale a shift so it touches fast, as fast as possible. Um, also the challenges that um, we are facing today, unfortunately, because we don't have time. And I really strongly believe in that. We don't have, we don't have time to wait until this comes organically. I mean, of course, we in our privileged world where we have a, a home, you know, and so we have the time to think about these things, but there are people literally, I mean, in the planet and, and you know, there's like, so we can't, I can't um, not do this, what I'm doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's working. Mm -hmm. And it's working. And things just synchronistically, things just align. Do you know Carl Kalaman's work? <clears throat> no. He's an originator with the Mayan calendar, and he's looked at the Mayan temples and seen there's there's nine levels to these temples. And I can send you a, a map and a, a video I did with him. And the, the ninth wave, like he calls them nine waves of creation. The sixth wave was like civilization. The seventh was in industrialization. The eighth was sort of digitization. And then the ninth is like the unity wave. Yes. And so each of them are like quantum waves that our society is structured 
because these waves have been going on and then they continue, but then a new wave comes in, transformation happens. But he says the jump to the, the next wave is quite, quite like a, a quantum jump. And let's say we're both at this ninth wave of, of creation, let's say. And we're yeah. seeing the need to unify. We're seeing, you know, the whole species is one. We feel love for everything. We, we want to break out of the power struggles of yes. these lower waves, but they exist. Yes. And so the children are being born in these new waves. They have a different DNA. They have a, a much different, you know, viewpoint. In a few generations, things will be very different. And by the Mayan yes. calendar, it's almost like scientifically proven that these, these, this, these waves exist and that we are moving into this unity consciousness, which might be the same as Christ consciousness or, or stuff like that, right? So to me, like the, the, the people and organizations that are in this wave are kind of seen as a bit insane by the, by the people in the other waves. Yes. Because they're so radically different and they can't see the jump. It's no. like the pupae cannot see the butterfly. And no. so you're like a butterfly giving feedback to these pupae saying, you will become like us. And the pupils are going, we don't want to be. Exactly, because they can't even, they can't, exact, exactly. So they can't, they exactly. can't imagine it. So, exactly. So to me, the, that transition, to accelerate the transition, it's almost like the putting the pupae in a, in a sort of situation where there's a radical transformation into becoming a butterfly and sometimes you know it might be a medicine like mushrooms right magical mushrooms everyone goes on these mushrooms or and, all of a sudden, and a lot of pupils together yeah. so they feel safe yeah, yeah. and, and then, also and then to, and then and you build them a tree you know a beautiful tree where they think oh this is better than the one i've been before let's all go there you know and then suddenly it's like it's basically this is mm. you know it's like but yes, if, if I might say, say something, the what I, I'm going to be building soon within the next over six months. I mean, I have a, a, a building in another small town. They say, come and bring all your tools. I haven't had a place to put everything in one place yeah. in terms Can of you just tell me first how you started this. How did it? Oh, um, um, <laughs> well, I think like anyone who was, you know, reading a lot of self-development books and sort of they say, write a vision. So I wrote this vision and came up with a purpose and you know just sort of did the little steps along the way because i was so unsatisfied all my life with society as it was yeah and so you know to me you're kind of asked to be used as a vessel use me as a vessel and, and then you don't realize what you get you know the lightning bolt hits you i know <laughs> and, and you're sort of zapped for like 10 years and, and you're walking around in the days saying some things to people that they just look like you're crazy i know yeah. then, then you finally meet people that are like you and then you you start to realize you're not crazy and you, and, you know it, I, I think we've all in some way been through the same process of sort of self-realization um different kind of stories but it's it's like a, yeah. a series of unexpected events you know yes. where you, you get more and more awareness as to why you are a certain way and why the world is a certain way and i mean i tell you this was made with a pendulum no way this, this was made with me no. asking questions on a pendulum and Love i had it. to figure out what it was afterwards because i said okay how many rings nine <laughs> rings and then each ring i said no. what does it broken down into yeah tell me how the frick that works like I okay, get okay 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 yeah but i hear you i get visions i get like just downloads and it's just like yeah i mean it's hard to describe to people where something might come from and if you tell them the truth they'll just think you're nuts so yeah so you're better. <laughs> like you know like how i could see him putting this in front of you know, large amounts of people and going i use this little thing to <laughs> Yeah, don't don't do this else if you raise money, right? So they're like, oh, this is how it works. Well, then we don't need RNG anymore. <laughs> I know, I know. No, but I hear you. Yes, and and now it's the challenge is, but it's a, I think it's challenge, but I think it's this ability now to understand where's the biggest leverage point to start where with what kind of group, and then how to translate it for them, but still. So it's still part of this big, always having the strategy in mind, right? Always, it needs to feedback, but not everyone needs to understand the big strategy. 
Well, and I think what I came up with, like at some point, was you know, um, cards. Yeah. I see them backwards, but turning words into lenses. Yes. And then having again, just sort of like card sets that awesome. I guess are these backwards kind of thing. Can you see them? Are, do you see them right way or are these backwards? Right way. Okay, I see them as backwards. So okay. So anyway, so it's almost like if you go kind of like health budget, like a, there, there's a way of creating like a language telescope where you start to bring in these conceptual levels at different levels, like the inner you versus the outer you, the inner group and the outer group yeah. and movers. And it's it's just looking at the ability to conceptualize things. And and you know, some people they don't use their pattern mind much. Or they haven't been trained yeah. in using conceptual thinking. So yeah, that's yeah. that's a big you know, barrier that I'm hoping the cards, because you take the physical cards and they're not like the tarot, but you can create these patterns and they're business language. So I, I'll, I'll send you the set. And, yes, I'll uh, we'll, we'll see see that. Think. But you have to cut them out. Like it takes, it takes quite a while. <laughs> Actually, it takes, I haven't, I haven't, I, 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 know. I think it's okay. It's survivable. <laughs> you can have, you can have a, party you know if people come and cut them i i've been cutting circles for years so i mean i'm not really yeah. so but but then you, what you do is you can take this the the the, 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 the card the concept and you can place it on the wheel and so like the the lifetime thing here at the organizational level to me is research the yearly one is infrastructure the, the lunar one is learning, the daily one is operations, the seasonal one's creativity, the pink one is synergy. Awesome. The, the orange is your services, minute to minute, and then your present moment marketing is marketing all the time, and then your stewardship's in the middle and timelessness. So the sort of like discovery was placing concepts as a primary concept on the time mechanism. So what it does is in, in the organizational structure, I find like they'd have finance and services, operations and marketing, mm -hmm. but they're all the same timing structures. Yeah. And it's, it's bland. Like it, so, so if you look at, you know, coming in from operations, which is daily activities, what are we doing to services, which is minute to minute with your customer to infrastructure, which is the whole year, it really shows that there's a different level of thinking. An accountant looking at the resources for the whole organization is a very different thinker than the marketer whose present moment, how do we sell our stuff? Totally, totally. And uh, I, I actually, so I was a corporate strategy consultant. That's why I know exactly about all of this. And um, so I know exactly how you, how you cascade all of these things, but also how organizations organize themselves and bring them things into processes and, I mean, they are right now obviously going, so, I mean, as you might know, right, also this whole organizational structure, redesign, reorganization, right, what is happening. Um, so it's actually interesting timing that you're coming out with this right now, because I've seen also some organizations really going radically in under thinking about how can we shift into more, um, yeah, into very, very new forms of organizations, right? So basically, so for instance, um, we had, one organization in our CEO study higher is, is an interesting example. Um, they went through a very radical shift and I'm not sure, but I, I have the feeling that there's something there, you know? So, so basically what I see, if I, if I look at this, this is like, you have the tools able basically for, um, if an organization goes through organizational redesign based on strategy, because organizational redesign always follows corporate strategy because so if you if you design your corporate strategy, the next step is what's my target operating model? And this is exactly this way. You now radically need to ask yourself, I mean, right now in the 3D world, they ask themselves end-to-end -end process, right? And digitization, for instance, from data to customer, or all these kind of so, but timing, right? It's like it's a totally different lens. So but then they would go into this target operating system and redesign the teams, the structure, the governance structure, the operating structure between the teams, the processes, the tasks. So basically, this is the projection into into that area, right? It's interesting because I, I really think that 
um, particularly big organizations are really going a little bit through the struggle also to understanding, for instance, um, I mean, there are these laws that if you are only 150 people in a team, you can organize yourself more efficiently than if you're more, right? So these kinds of things, they're open to listen and to hear. So if there's a, so I just wonder for you, if there's a way, if there's a way you could bring your thoughts, maybe even in a paper or something which is linking on, you know, <laughs> what, I know. What a concept. <laughs> I, I, my weakness has been, I'm starting to, to write now, but my weakness has been a lot of focus on the, the prototypes in terms of the building of them and the maps. I've been really focused on maps. Like I, I, it's sort of like, you know, this map is like, a, yeah. it's like, here's your personal space. Here's your one-on-one -on -one space. Here's your group space. Here's your community space, mm. your sacred space. And one of the yes. big discoveries was to put one value, wisdom at personal space, love at one-on-one, -on -one, humor at group, justice at community, surrender at, at sacred, that you can program values. Mm. And this is just one of, you know, many, um, this is a way to program an hour long session. Oh, wow. Uh, so again, you can use the conversation cards. I got card ways of programming the specific condo type of use. You might start with a welcoming, then maybe a needs analysis, then maybe a brainstorm. Um, Love it. Wow. So that to explain each of the maps I found took like 20, 30 pages. <laughs> and I had so many maps. And I, I, I know it's not right. I mean, you know, inventors kind of focus on certain parts. And right now I'm just going to do a design specs convo on the software with somebody I've been working with like 13 years and it's taken this long for me to even do a design specs on the software. So wow. it, like I just, I, I, I touched into this unlimited creativity at some point and then you just get overwhelmed. It's yeah, just, of course, but it's, you need to. Um, I, I, I'm also a very content driven person. So, I'm, so for me, for instance, it's also always like, I hate it if someone comes, yeah, but I need like, yeah. You know. So it's because I also have so much in my head. There's like so much and I can't just superficially give a recommendation, you know, because they're all the systemic effects you have to think of, you know? So, <laughs> and um, so I totally hear you. And, um, and I strongly believe that you need to go deep and think things through because this is also our responsibility taking this kind of on us to bring this to the world because otherwise, yeah, it's, we, we, can't, we can't bring, if, we, if you really, and I'm not saying you, you, I'm just saying people who are on this journey. So if you really authentically mean that you came here to change the planetary system, then you better think it through, right? So, it's not about I'm going on a podcast and I'm talking about, you know, so, I mean, it's great that people talk a lot in this. Yeah. But to your point, there's, there's, there's a significant amount of, there needs to be a significant foundation. And I think this is where it's amazing to, to be connected and understand, you know, who else has kind of a significant foundation, because if I, if one thing I learned and I just, I just know it as well and things happen in crazy ways. I just know that if you find people like you who are so significantly drawn and have this, call it crazy, but we don't think it's crazy, you know? For me, it would be crazy if someone would tell me, I don't even know what would be crazy to me, to be honest. I don't, there's no crazy anymore. Um, but the path is, the paths align, you know? So it's like, everyone who has a very aligned dharma in a way and some parts of this puzzle piece pieces right it just it just aligns it synchronizes at some point yeah well the, i don't know if you're familiar with the gene keys but um i've met this uh, man dharmendra through another mastermind group and he's he's very uh, 
he understands gene keys and the 64 kind of gene keys has your shadow, your gift, your city. And so what I see is we're getting through our shadow or in our gifts, but like we've got some superpowers. Yeah. And that if you're not with other people who know them, like he's been giving me some feedback that I've never got before around yeah. you know, why I'm so emotional or, you know, kind of what I'm doing and my weaknesses. And then he's giving me, you know, info I haven't got from anyone before, but he's at, he's at the very high level with his own work. Yeah. And so, you know, you, you want to work with your peers. You want to work, yeah. with, you don't want to have to explain no. everything, you know, that takes years. You want to work with people who can kind of pick it up and yeah. reference it to their own work. And, yeah. and so a lot of independent innovators, you know, they're alone. They're not resourced. They have that piece, but yeah. they've gone through hell. Yeah. And so, the, you know, there's a healing component. There, there's a... There's a strong yes. need to to sort of come to terms with not just the work that you're bringing into the world, but you know how the world has treated you. And if you look you look at Tesla, you know Tesla died penniless, and you know he was the greatest inventor of of humanity in the 20th century. And look how he was treated. And so <clears throat> inventors, you know, they get assaulted, they get attacked, they get you know. We need to protect. The goal. Yes. We, we we need to support the people yes. that have the solutions. And sometimes the, the guy could be homeless. Sometimes yes. the guy could be a little crazy, or the woman, because she's she's so hurt emotionally from how she's been treated all her life with about her gifts. Yes, I I I, I totally hear you, and and it's exactly this. What you also said. I mean, for me personally, I know it doesn't maybe look like that because, but. I've always felt alone until I came closer and closer into this tribe. I felt I'm crazy. I'm alone. I'm, why do I see things others don't see? Why are people so interested around me in all this material stuff? I'm just not interested in. I just don't fit in. I just don't fit in. And I can't lie to myself, you know? So I'm also annoyed of, you know, and to your point, I, I don't waste my energy to explain. So, and then maybe it seems a bit radical in a way, but it's just, why, you know? So, and then coming to terms with that, but then finding, finding exactly these kind level of thinkers and people where you really just know, where you know this will align and this is, you, you are seen, right? And um, yes, yeah, so, for instance, when, when Chris and I, we, we also, we just collided like magnets. It was, it's in, in ever so, yeah. I mean, I have a closer connection to her than to my family. So it's, um, and yeah, well, you know how it is. So it's, uh, but um, yeah, so I'm, I'm so thankful and I'm so happy to meet more and more people who are, because obviously in my, in my, I don't even, some of my friends, I don't even say anymore what I'm doing, right? To a lot of people, just, and that's okay, you know? You come to terms that it's okay. I know, but it, it's funny because you're hungry because it's fascinating, right? I mean, like, this stuff is utterly- I mean, I wouldn't do anything else. I mean, like, I wouldn't, I'm like, they are crazy, <laughs> right? Like, there's nothing else, yeah. I could be doing and also I have a very I've always felt I mean I always had too much energy and I have a lot of energy in it I mean I need I some yeah I, I I can it's like I have just too much energy and it's the first time in my life that I actually feel content with my energy yeah too like I guess it's the 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 tone it down tone it yes. down right you always have to tone it down <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> because otherwise comfortable yes exactly right yeah. yes but then at some point you don't want to tone it down right you don't why because you're annoyed by toning it down and then for instance i started and at some point i did a lot of martial arts and i would stay in my dojo for five hours or six hours you know my friends would meet in the in the evening. They would, why are you not meeting us? And I'm like, I need, <laughs> I need my space, right? Because other, yeah, it's 
that you know so we're coming near to the end and i'm wondering um maybe next steps or how i can help or i guess the next step is me maybe sending you a card set and you taking a look at that yeah i think i think also um so what i see and i strongly believe in that and these days um, it somehow it somehow always works out like that so i just trust in that so I know that um, what you're doing will highly align with also what we're doing in our technology piece of it. Unfortunately, our tech piece is only ready to show after September because we are still in the deep phase. Um, however, until then, um, because I see it as a long-term journey, um, I think until then what I would love to, what, we, what would be just interesting, exactly once you start translating this into bits and pieces, right? Like the cards or where is it applicable? So this can foster us our, our imagination in our whole process because organizations are increasingly coming to us and also like for leadership skills. I mean, I don't do HR to be honest, but I also see this in the HR pod point of view or redefining the values, which is right now significantly important. Like bits and pieces you can infiltrate, infiltrate basically the system, right? Yeah. So this is where I see right now the the way of staying, you know, like the small and then and so this is one part of it but the other part of it i think is the whole aligning the technology piece of things because what's the, the technology that you're coming up with <clears throat> yes so this will be will be so basically this is a bit of what it's the synchronization of corporate strategies choice strategies it's a bit crazy so this is why we have right now some some crazy conversations around that and, and we will hopefully be able to share more in September, October, so because we couldn't travel, unfortunately, some conversations that just need to happen in person, right? So we're flying out to San Francisco for that. And um, but this is where so basically our technology is there to follow this whole transition into the new system, but you have the new system. So this is where I see down the line on the big picture beyond workshops and stuff you know so beyond but really to think it through in in an organizational design piece of the future basically right so this is where i see this you know if you if you would look if if there's a way so in my mind um basically it is um if the tools that we have and the way we design corporate strategy if some of this can already project into an organization of the future you know with some where you can where you know maybe the organization doesn't even need to know it yet in this extreme right but you can already build processes which feed them into this kind of organization but we i need to see it to, to understand how to translate it back mm. but we are in the middle of this so what we are targeting is we target the corporate strategy consultancies mckinsey bcgs out there um no one is doing it in this kind of level and these are the ones which are influencing right now the corporate strategies of the world. So once you can hook into these processes of only a handful of organizations, the shift is impeccable what you can achieve. Hmm. But I, I, you just, need... I just want to jump in because I'm, I'm working on some software too that is kind of like being able to program chat rooms with specific conversational types and goals. Hmm that may, I think, because it's a communication technology and very programmable from you, let's say the facilitator's point of view, that it might be interesting to look at how our particular technologies fit. Because I see like what I have is a framework, like the mother of all frameworks. And so what I'm looking for is allies who have pieces yes. of the puzzle and then look to see you know, how our data and processes okay. integrate. Because um, yes. each, you know, everyone is going to be specializing in certain ways. We can't all do it all. And I'm kind of like, again, like an architect for this new paradigm yes. and using this framework to, to, to find, you know, all the other people with the pieces and then come up with something that's actually coherent and usable to yes. shepherd the process into the new paradigm. So um, yes. I have to go soon, just so you know, yes. we just have like five minutes left. Is there anything you want to say or do before? We end it? Um, I don't think so. I think I think what we do is that I would love if you could share a little bit once you are on this journey translating this back into things which are already now accessible in the corporate world, right? So we can see what we can do with that. 
Um, and then I think once we have, once we are ready to share our technology infrastructure, you know, maybe this could be another conversation to, because that's a bit bigger than what's out there right now, mm. which is the ambition, right? Well, we are all crazy people, so it's good. Um, I think, yeah, this would this would feel from my perspective um, the right next steps. Okay. I must admit, I'm not so much on Facebook. I'm. Uh, I just. So, my friend Brian, who introduced me to all these groups a few years ago, he always told me you need to be on Facebook more engaged. So this is why I just started now. Finally, you know. So okay, you know. <laughs> so, um, but I would. I think it's as, and also if you need ever like a challenge partner, you know, how do I translate this in a language, you know? So we are here. We're here. I think we are all part of the same tribe knowing what we're doing and being synchronized in the way and then there will be these avenues which will plug in together so and i think does this make sense for you yeah and i think you know the prime reference point right now is the up game and you know is how we met and we're you know we're working together on a team so exactly. i think i think that is very you know that to me is the prime kind of connection point you know yes. we're kind of looking at each other outside but i think within the, those parameters you know we'll see especially you know with seth i mean it's a pretty strong team in my opinion um Amazing. so you know just sort of look at how we're going to connect with the others and what we're going to do exactly. um again this community communication room possibility in this small town of saskatchewan yorkton um yeah. so we'll just keep keep talking within that um situation but it's, yes. it's but it's great to to chat one on one and great to hear uh, a little bit about you and what you're yeah. doing. But it does it does feel as if there's a great connection and synchronization between you know what your organization is doing and and what I am and definitely for me it's for me it's very clear. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm sometimes not that good in articulating that. Also, I'm not native English, so that's always what I um, sometimes if I don't find the right words to to express it. Yes, but um, I'm 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 very sure of that. So it was to be honest, I'm really really happy we met and connected, and also through this community technology group. Um, I just trust a lot in 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 that tribe, to be honest as well. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it has great intentions, and a lot of good is, is going to come from it. And exactly. Me, again, coming out of the cave, you know, I want to align with, you know, like good harder people doing good things yes. for the planet. And that's basically yes. all I really want. So yes, same for us. We don't yeah, authentic. We we yeah, that's the only I don't have energy for anything else and no patience and, and they also don't want to. Yeah. So <laughs> that's incredible. Elijah was really thank you so much for your work and that you went into the cave to develop that, right? So it will have it has a reason. So, yeah, which is no, I, I'm pretty happy with what's happened. I mean, I'm not <laughs> particularly yeah, happy just... with what happened in the cave, but I'm happy with what I'm coming out with. Yes, yes, and it's time to now to heal through this and to start sharing it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful process. It needed. So thank you. Okay, so we shall speak again. And, we shall speak uh, again. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And um, yeah, exactly. We connect, I think, very soon you, um, through the app game anyhow. And then everything else we know now. So it's, it will happen. Bye.